Oh, you guys want to hear a story? It's kind of gross. Um, when I was like two years old, I was uh, in an ice cream shop um, with my mom, and we 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 were going to get ice cream. And I got my ice cream, and as I was licking the ice cream cone, um, um, I was walking, and the the floor was slippery, and I slipped and I fell. And they didn't have they didn't have a sign that said floor slippery because they had just mopped. And I was licking the ice cream cone and I fell. And hung. I bit my tongue. And um, my mom and the doctor said that. It, uh, well, my mom said the doctor said that the tongue was like my tongue was hanging off by like two threads. Yeah. And so I have this big scar in the middle of my tongue when uh, I bit my tongue off when I was two years old. Yeah. And uh, they couldn't like stitch it up or anything because if you put stitches, it would like constantly open. So they just, they just, I guess they just left it there and they just let it heal. Actually, um, I have this other scar. Yeah, I have this other scar. Um, it's on the top of my head. Like, uh, my brother and I, we were jumping on a bed when we were like, I was like three or four. And we were, you know, like, uh, you guys jump up and down on a bed like a trampoline. And when we were jumping up and down, he pushed me off the bed. And there was a drawer that was open. And I hit my head on the corner of the drawer. And I got brain damage. No, okay, okay. <laughs> I did. Uh, I don't think I had any brain damage, uh, probably. But I had this huge scar on the top of my head. And sometimes um, when I breathe, I, it feels like there's air going through it. Like... <sighs> yeah, yeah. It feels, like, uh, it feels like there's air going through it at the top. It's really weird. They had to, uh, they had to staple my, my head shut. Mm -hmm. But I'm okay now, right? I turned out, I turned out good. <laughs> Actually, I cut the top of my thumb off. Because <clears throat> I saw my mom, like, peeling an orange. And have you ever, guys, have you guys ever seen people, like, peel vegetables or fruit? Where, like, they, they... They like guide the knife with their thumb. You know what I mean? Like, uh, they like use their thumb, but then it also like hits their thumb. So, uh, I was trying to cut an orange like that, and I was like, I can do that too. And, uh, yeah. Ooh, ugh, I can remember the pain. Yeah, I cut like a, a nice, nice slice off the top of my thumb. Yuppie! <laughs> I have a lot of, I have a lot of stories where I got hurt. When I was younger. <laughs> I remember that. I have like a really specific memory where like uh they left me and my brother in the car on a hot day. <laughs> and we had crayons and the crayons melted and um we like smeared them all over the roof of the car. <laughs> It's like one of those old. Well, I guess I guess more cars um, these days also have like the carpet. Seal, not like carpet, but you know, like fuzzy roof. And there were there were crayon stains in the in the roof for as long as we had that car. <laughs> well, that's what you get. You can't you can't leave. This is before you know people knew not to uh, leave their kids in the in a car. 